Good afternoon, European Confessions. I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys, and the message reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post for me? I want to confess that I am a teenager who joined Satanism, but I did this under the influence of a drug. This is my story in detail. I am a girl who is aged 18 from Bradfield. I did my high school at a private boarding school. That is where it all started. When I was doing grade 10, I used to suffer a lot because I was just a quiet girl. Most of my classmates, they were bullying me and taking advantage of me being quiet like that. They would take my food and my pocket money. Most of the senior students abused me the most. I still remember that on this other day, one of the senior students grabbed me. Then she dragged me straight to the toilet, while least the rest of the students were looking and laughing at me. I didn't have anyone to fight for me because this girl, she was really strong and no matter how hard I tried to refuse, she kept on slapping me and she dragged me. I was really embarrassed on that day. Then she pushed me into the toilet. Then she said, I want to see you drinking water from this toilet. It was really hard for me. After I was forced to drink that toilet water, I started vomiting. But when I vomited, she started to beat me so hard. I don't even know how I had wronged her. But that girl, she kept on beating me until I had collapsed. She said, why did you vomit while you were standing right there next to me? Can't you see that you have messed up my shoes? She then grabbed me. She made me to wipe off the vomit that was on her shoes with my own shirt. This was really embarrassing. They left me in that toilet. Then I cried so much. Even the time that I walked back to the classroom, all of my classmates, they were just laughing at me because I was really dirty. In my hair, there was vomit. Because the time when I started vomiting and when that senior student was beating me, I tried to run away, but I slipped and I fell right next to that place where I had vomited. So some of my vomit was all over my hair. I didn't have any friends while I was in school. Reporting them was not an option for me because those girls kept on telling me that if you report me, I am going to make you suffer. I knew that if I go and I report these senior students, my suffering will get worse. So I remained quiet. I didn't have any friend. There was this other novel of mine that was my friend. I carried it around and people used to make fun of me because I was someone who wore glasses. So a lot of people, they used to make fun of how my glasses were so big and my face was so small. I was someone who was not loved in high school. One day I was coming from the labs and I met some senior girls who asked me to do a squatting exercise. Just then another girl passed by. This girl, she seemed tough and through the impression of the other girls, it clearly showed that they feared her. She asked me to stand up, so I did, and told me to never let all of these girls bully me ever again. I was really happy that she had saved my life because this girl, whenever they would come across me, if I'll be in the corridor, they would even tell me to kneel down so that I can mop the corridor floor with my hair. Life for me in high school was never good. Maybe that is the reason why the devil felt sorry for me because I was someone who was always abused by other students. It always makes me angry whenever people say that God is a God of mercy. He looks after the weak. No, I believe that God only looks after the strong because I was one of the weakest girl. Where was he? He never came to my rescue. Even up until this day, I don't even want to hear anyone mention the mercies of God because he is not merciful when you want him to feel sorry for you. But on the other side, I realized that 
actually there there is real love there is no fake love if they tell you that they are going to give you this yes indeed they will give you in time not this thing of you waiting for an answer do you know that there are people who have died yet the answer that they have been waiting for from god never came until they died so that girl after she had rescued me she warned those girls to stay away from me and they all walked away feeling ashamed after a few days i met that girl again so i tried stopping her to thank her and asked her name but she kept on walking away from me she didn't even look at me she was walking with her other beautiful friends i felt embarrassed because everyone just laughed and i asked myself are you crazy what the hell are you doing look at yourself and look at her do you think that she can ever be your friend i walked away feeling ashamed but i was used to be this way i was the clown of our school so i decided to look for her hostel i don't know why i kept on pushing but i just wanted to hear from her was i this bad i even went as far as asking the bully girls about her they only showed me her room the reason why those girls that were bullying me showed me her room they wanted to make fun of me because when i started asking about that girl's room they laughed and they told me that me and that girl we could never be friends they told me that she was on a higher level and i was below the sewage level i was not even counted in high school after those girls had showed me a room i walked to her room but i was really scared thinking that she was going to embarrass me but after i had knocked on her door surprisingly she opened the door then she said come in she was quite friendly so i didn't understand why on that day she had ignored me when i had met her in the corridor when i entered into her room everything was different and i was scared because her room was pasted with creepy pictures all over her walls there were creepy pictures i then asked what her name was she told me i then thanked her for rescuing me the other day she told me that it is okay you can be like my little sister if you want and i was happy that i had finally found a friend who could defend me she seemed like a really nice girl it was quite difficult for me to fit in she is the one who started to teach me how to look presentable when i will be around other people but as time went by when i was inside a circle of friends that is when i saw that she and her friends they always took drugs i don't know how they were able to smuggle all of these drugs into the school premises but they were taking drugs one day she asked me to try taking some because she wanted to give me the powers to defeat all of the people that were abusing me in school i took the drug and the next thing that i remember is that me and her and her friends we were at a shrine where i was initiated into satanism all i know is that i was not able to control myself but while i was being initiated they asked me if i was ready for this and the master told me that i cannot leave once i have decided to embark on this journey so from high school up until today i have been on this spiritual journey there are many missions that were given to me most of those missions i cannot mention them in public because most of them are yet to be completed but one day i hope that i will meet our powerful master satan himself and i will behold his glory on that day This is my own story. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received. Then I had to ask one of our admins to give us a translation. This has reminded me about a story that I once received on Facebook a long time ago about a girl who was saying that she is a Satanist. After that, she completely blocked me, hoping that that one day dear sister you unblock me because i have a lot of questions that i want to ask you dear listeners 
right there was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins let us talk about this issue in the comment section i'll be back with another episode